um, if you watch this video I'm assuming that you've watched at least some of the previous videos contained in the playlist Hyperborea because otherwise it will be totally unintelligible so hopefully you are familiar with the kind of videos that I produced what I call the, the phenomenology of the European spirit I hope that you are familiar with the the development of consciousness, how the mind goes through different figures of consciousness, figures of, of consciousness or, or states of mind, and, and that's the whole development of consciousness among whites and Europeans in the Western world. And my claim is that it will bring about a consciousness of the divine through the grasping of speculative logic. So hopefully you're familiar with all this because otherwise this video won't make any sense. I was thinking about precisely the development of consciousness and I just noticed that um, we have three dialectical twists in the process of consciousness in the, in the phenomenology of the European mind for now. Um, as you know, in the West, uh, in the modern West, being a victim grants you power and influence and domination if you can present yourself as having been victim of oppression, of injustice, of, 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 of crimes, of violence, you are rewarded socially, morally, economically, politically, and we know that many groups of people use this strategy to, to gain power and influence by 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 um, by by showing all the, the the crimes that their ancestors have had to suffer at the hands of mostly white males and it enables them to 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 gain social prestige and, and recognition and in the west we moderns we we admire the victims although strictly speaking those who benefit from this this social prestige, they are themselves not victims, their ancestors were, or their, their grandparents or great-grandparents, or yes, but they themselves very often are not victims, they only enjoy the benefits of, of, of being, uh, of, of proclaiming themselves as victims. Yeah, so we see a dialectical response to that situation, because dialectics is always a a mirror game, a game of opposites, and the reaction to that is that the the victims, the real victims of, of modernity in the West are the white working class because they, they suffer from lack of uh, security, uh, they, 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 there are high crime rates, uh, rapes, uh, violence, the destruction of culture, the, 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 the impoverishment and the degradation of the, the, the socio-economic conditions of life. So the, the, the life becomes very difficult for, for the white working class and they are despised by the left, which dominates the media. So life becomes very hard for the, 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 the working class and lower middle class whites. And as a reaction, uh, because they, they want... Uh, their dignity and they want to be recognized socially and, 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 and have a right to, to defend their interests, we have two types of, of dialectical phenomena. There's the, the, the rise of uh, the, the denunciation, the con condemnation of, of anti-white racism. So we have groups of white advocates who, in the name of anti-racism, uh, struggle against the anti-white hatred. So they they are sincere, they, they, they are really anti-racist, but they just say, okay, if we are uh, completely anti-racist, we should apply the, the anti-racism to the whites themselves, and whites should be prevented and protected from, from racist slurs and attacks, because the, the official anti-racism in the West is actually anti-white. So we have a dialectical response to that, which is the rise of uh, anti-racist whites which just want that whites should be treated as every other group. That's the first um, dialectical reaction. The second is that uh, in the, in the pro-white 
community, there are groups who, who just acknowledge that the, the, strat the strategy of victimhood, they notice that those who present themselves as, as being victim of having suffered in the past, they are rewarded. So whites want to use the same method. They, they want to, to show that in the past, whites have been oppressed by... Uh, they were invaded by the Muslims or by the Asians or they were in, in, they were exploited by their own aristocracy or they were exploited by the Jews or um, that the, the Romans slaughtered the Germanic tribes or they slaughtered the Gauls in France when they conquered them. So there, this is a dialectical process where the pro-white want to 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 clothe clothe themselves to dress themselves in in, in the in the mask and the figure of the victim. Because they want, they, they have noticed it's an, an unconscious, an unconscious process. They just noticed that being a victim grants you power, and everyone wants power. So that's the method that they choose to to gain power, which is surprising. But when one understands dialectics, it's not surprising at all. It's it's just a, a Hegelian movement in the political realm. And second, um, <clears throat> when we go further into the development of, of the white European consciousness, um, we have figures, pagan figures, who uh, admire Europe, but they they admire and they envy the, 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 the people that are usually regarded in the white nationalist spheres as being inferior or primitive. And so there's a passage from the, the, the pro-white, uh, hateful movement, which hates non-whites, to a more spiritual, more pagan, uh, but still with a white nationalist consciousness, a more pagan um, group, which uh, doesn't hate the other races anymore, but they envy them, and they wish that we Europeans had kept our uh, substantial unity with with the divine in nature with the spirits the 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 souls of nature the 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 realms and we have this in the pagan community there are people who um who envy and not negatively but they admire and they envy the the fullness of being the religious uh, fullness that the australian aborigines or the native uh, Indians have in their in their tradition, so they wish that Europeans had preserved their their um, their religious tradition. So they are unconsciously revolting against the very process of Western civilization, while still maintaining the defense of white identity in the form of, of paganism. So that's kind of schizophrenic, but dialectics is is a schizophrenic philosophical movement. And finally. Uh, in, when we go even further in the in the in the right wing uh, uh, pagan far right sphere, there are the figures of consciousness, which are the, the, the far right extremists, who just claim that they want to have an autonomous permaculture property and permaculture farm or garden. They just want to grow their own vegetables, and these people, they are national socialist gardeners. And they are considered by the establishment as being the most dangerous individuals because they want to be autonomous and free. So we have this dialectically comical... Dialectics can be very serious, but sometimes it's also very comical. Um, we have this, this situation where the, the establishment, which is uh, pro-green, pro uh, uh, ecological, but only in words, but when there are people who, who really decide to become ecologically minded and to, to start their own independent uh, agricultural permaculture farm or property, the establishment accuses them of being Nazis and dangerous survivalist, uh, crazy potential psychopath, mur mass murderers or whatever. So the, 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 the far right uh, um, uh, pagan, right-wing pagans, they become far leftist actually, but they, they become more leftist than the leftists themselves because they do what the leftists preach without doing. So they 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 negate dialectically the left and, and they, they unite both opposites, the far left with their ecological uh, wishes and desires and the far right with, with their mindset and, and they become a, a Hegelian concrete uh, synthesis, although we do not find the word synthesis in Hegel, but they, they become a, 
a, a concrete ID in a way. So these are just examples of the dialectic at work. Dialectics is when a, 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 something is, is, is set and it turns into its own neg negative and from this negativity of itself come back into itself. And this is a movement that we see at work in the entirety of the political, intellectual, uh, natural, uh, spiritual world. It's the, the, the all animating soul. And if um, you want to understand dialectics, you don't need to read very complex books which tell you, oh, uh, we will explain everything about the, 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 the peculiarities and the, the subtleties of Hegelian dialectics. No, just look at the world and with the information that I give you, it's largely enough to understand that dialectics is the very movement of everything natural and spiritual. And yeah, that was just uh, to enlighten you. And the only way to to get rid of this dialectical disease, this this poison, is to accept it as the cure of itself. The the, the one must accept dialectics as liberating and the more you understand yourself as being a, a, a moment in a dialectical process the more you are liberated and joyful about being the self-conscious expression of the dialectical movement which is eternal and divine and that's the only uh, liberation and freedom from the the dialectics